Okay, so here goes. Um, I have a, a dear friend, or we have a dear friend of ours, Miss um, Megan Larson, who's currently battling cancer, and um, she's very hopeful. She's going through treatment right now. It's looking good. Prognosis uh, should be very good, uh, but nonetheless, she's got to go through chemo and things like that. She has a beautiful head of hair, and she's probably going to lose it. And her husband Rob happened to mention to me on Facebook about how I never thought about shaving my head to support someone who was going through cancer. Well. I used to be a cancer nurse and obviously I, I dealt with a lot of patients that had cancer and I had seen pe a lot of people that had cancer and um, it's something that's always been close to me. And then I had an um, aunt that was diagnosed with cancer and I had a grandfather that passed away with cancer and I've had several friends that have been diagnosed and fought battles. Most recently um, I have a friend, uh, Miss Kathy Babka, who's just on the end of her of breast cancer treatment. She's beat it. She's finishing up radiation in fact she's going to be finished up on March March is her last treatment so congratulations Kathy way to go and so when Rob mentioned this to me I thought you know what I have never shaved my head for someone in support of anyone but it sounds like a pretty good idea and there's a lot of people who I would like to support there's a lot of people that uh, my bride and I have prayed for and wanted to be able to see that was a uh, success that was to, one to see them beat cancer and um, so here goes I'm gonna shave my head and this is for Miss Megan Larson, uh, we love you. And this is for Miss Kathy Babka and anyone else out there that we know of that's fall cancer in the past or are currently fighting cancer now. So, got my handy dandy trimmers. Never done this, don't know how this is gonna work, but we're about to find out. All right, my wife's gonna help me finish this up and uh, we'll be back when we get it done. So, talk to you later.